We have a one on one interview with the leader of the right wing group, the Proud Boys, who says his group has embraced the president's message to stand by. We also hear from a local expert who has extensive knowledge on hate groups. But first, protests continue in Portland tonight with the Black Lives Matter march for Patrick Kimmons. He was shot and killed two years ago. His family marking the second anniversary of his death. Jennifer Dowling with a look at where the crowds are gathering tonight. Jennifer. Good evening, Jeff. You can see that there are hundreds behind me. Uh, this is Harvey Milk, Southwest 3rd to Southwest 4th, blocked off by protesters. A peaceful protest down here. They're giving speeches and remembering Patrick Kimmons. People marched down to the spot earlier in the evening. They're calling for the investigation into his death to be reopened. March from Pioneer Courthouse Square to the corner of Southwest 4th and Harvey Milk to remember Patrick Kimmons. Kimmons was shot and killed by officers two years ago. His mom, Letha Winston, thanked protesters for showing up. You did not have to come out to celebrate the memorial of my son being murdered and shot down nine times in the middle of this street, in the middle of that parking lot. The march and vigil took place on a day that Portland City Commissioners heard from a team called OIR that's been independently reviewing officer-involved shootings and in-custody deaths and making recommendations for change, one of which Commissioner Joanne Hardesty commented on today. I know you've been recommending for uh, ever since you started doing this is a change in the, uh, the police review board. Unfortunately, that's one of those things that's on the list that, you know, won't change in our lifetime um, unless we change how we do oversight of policing. Um, and we are on path to do that. In the Kimmons case, the report generated by OIR said that Sergeant Britt observed Kimmons shooting at others and then started moving in the direction of the officers. Britt said, according to the report, that he ordered Kimmons to get his hands up and he then observed Kimmons go to his waistband and the sergeant fired his gun. The report goes on to say the district attorney presented the case to a grand jury, which concluded that Sergeant Britt and Officer Livingston's actions were legally justified. The police review board recommended an in-policy finding for the use of deadly force. Kimmons supporters have previously disputed the findings and want the investigation into his death reopened. Y'all ought to give yourself a random applause. Because sooner or later, we will get justice. Yeah. And the speeches again continue tonight. In addition to those, uh, there is also a group of painters that painted Patrick Kimmons' names on Harvey Milk Street. Back to you in the studio.